Hello guys, welcome to the channel. So, Starfield, the latest update just came out. And if you're like me, you're using a non-Steam version. Uh, you might not know how to update it. You know, you, you don't want to install the whole game. So let's take a look. So if you're into this kind of stuff, um, non-Steam games, emulation, gaming handhelds, stuff like that, you'd probably want to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's take a look. So I've got Starfield running. Let's take a look. Settings. I'm on version 1.7.23.0. Okay. All right. So let's update. Let's update. So how do I do that? All right. Let's quit first. Go back to Steam Deck desktop mode. All right. Just wait for it. it takes a bit of time. Don't know why. I'm just quitting. All right. Uh, okay. That didn't work. All right, I think this is done. Nope. Open an F4. Is that a better way? All right, God. Okay, that's it. Yeah, sorry about that. So let's do the update. So first thing we need to do, I need to find the location of my non-Steam Starfield game. So it's here. So I open Proton Tricks and then Starfield, non-Steam shortcut. So remember this number. Oh, you don't have to remember it, but just know it's there. Open your file explorer. I don't know, is that what it's called? Dolphin? I guess in, on Linux it's called Dolphin. Yeah, I'm used to Windows, so it's called File Explorer. Okay, go to Home. Top right, there are three lines. Click on it. Make sure Show Hidden Files. It's there. It's checked. And then we go to the hidden folder, .steam. Steam. Steam apps, compact data, and then locate that folder again. Okay, 36480. 36480. All right, this one. Okay. So this is my Starfield game folder. All right. So make sure you've downloaded the update as well. So I've, got, I've downloaded it in my downloads. So I go to my downloads page. All right. So here, Starfield update. 1.7.29 okay so here's the update so how to install update let's read it copy the update folder and overwrite oh okay we don't even we just need to copy the update folder oh copy all files in the update folder and paste overwrite your game directory okay so so don't just put the game update, so the data inside it. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy the data inside it. Go back to my star field. Okay, then I'm just going to drag it over and overwrite. Just wait. It's a two gig file. All right, apply to all. Is it done? Yep, finished. Finished. So that was easy. That was easy. Okay, let's run the game again. See if it works. I was expecting it be like an AXE, so you like you patch it. You that's why I did expect it to be that easy. You just have to just have to copy. Alright, let's go to settings. Alright, can you see that? 1.7.29.0 So, okay, let's let's load the game and make sure it works. Make sure it's not like just the screen that says it's updated. Make sure that... So, I, I haven't read the patch notes, uh, but I think they fixed bugs and, you know, I don't think they improved in performance. I think mostly fixed bugs and, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you know what are the major changes? I haven't had time to read that. But yeah, this game is good. It's good. I like it. I haven't had much time. I played like around 40-ish hours and then uh, been busy with uh, making videos. And I stopped a bit and then, yeah, haven't, haven't got back into it. But yeah, I, I will. So let's see it load. It might. Does it load long on the Steam Deck? 
Yeah, it might. Might. Okay. Hey. I tried using VMod and it didn't work. It crashes the game. Alright, so we're in the game. So, yeah, it's great. It's great. Oh, a bit laggy at the start. Alright, but yeah, still, game's working. So, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.